There's, there's ones with like cereal, cereal on it. Okay, you getting your you getting your stuff? Yeah. Okay. I got a question for you. What? Do you guys want to go outside and run in the rain? Yeah. <laughs> or do you wanna go get donuts? How lucky are we? Donut time, donut dance, donut. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're gonna go celebrate. Usually we go out to Andy's frozen custard, but instead we're going to get donuts. Oh, what does she love to get? Donut shoes. Donut shoes. Oh, that's a. That is a. Boom, boom. Hold on, let's see the, let's see the hoodie. Mini me. Hello. Bumpity bum. Bumpity bum. I'm mic'd up. <laughs> True love is not mic'd up. And I told her to speak I'm up. A, mic'd up. <laughs> I told her to speak up a little bit, but uh, she's already she's already mic'd up. <laughs> Boom, bump it up. Come on, I'm Irish. All right, True Love. What did uh, what did you just okay. what did you just ask me? I just asked, what in your racing 2019 year, what was the most unexpected like either race or finish? Yeah. Or moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like we make all our plans, but Yeah. It does oh, what it man. wants anyway. It does what it wants. I would say the most unexpected moment of the 2019 racing season was, it had, it had, ooh, there's, there was a lot. There was a lot. Yeah. I would say so much happened, but I would say that the 106 surprised me. Ooh. That really surprised me. Yeah. Because I, you know, my previous PR before that was 111. Uh, no, 110, 110 high in a time trial solo here in Denver at Elevation. So then to be able to do a 106, I, uh, in the middle of, in the the middle of a marathon. Don't forget that part. So that's why I'm excited to race probably Brooklyn. 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 The Brooklyn half marathon. <laughs> Michael just yelled Brooklyn. And just one, one more quick unexpected was, I guess not, but P PRing at the Pikes Peak Ascent oh, by nine minutes, nine minutes was good. That was a good jump. <laughs> and uh, I believe we're going to be racing there again next year. So come on. Come on. Come, come on. on. Pikes Peak. All right. See you at the donuts. Here we go. They've got a bacon donut. They've got a bacon donut. <laughs> oh, a straw. A straw from Michael. Okay. So I get a donut. <laughs> Joseph and Seth get a donut. Yeah. Michael gets a donut. Yeah. Mama gets a donut, yeah. but you have two on your tray. Yeah, the baby gets a donut. The baby gets a donut. <laughs> baby, baby, the baby, gets, baby gets his own donut. Baby gets a donut. Yay! Changes every which way. Good sugar for school. Perfect. Oh, yeah. And we've even got extra. So, taking them home. Taking them home. And we're back. All right. I am uh, getting back into stretching here in a minute. It's, uh, it's almost time. I'm so excited to talk to all of you about rebuilding the body. Remember we talked yesterday about running form, so that is coming, but first it's time to get back on my A-game with respect to the running shoe review. So let's go out to the studio, snag some shoes here. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Oh yeah. Woo it's cold again in Denver. Oh man. All right, we got got to get, go give this to True Love. Thank you again to Kathleen for sending that. And we're going to bring in, oh man, those are muddy. Oh, package. True Love, a uh, package arrived for you in the P.O. box. Ah, uh, there you go. 
Yeah, Kathleen yes, from uh, Arizona. Oh my goodness. Hey. Oh, oh fun. Oh, oh. Oh, my. <laughs> oh that is awesome. Is so <laughs> that is uh, What is it, Michael? Is it? Okay, that is the best. This Books. She's got an SJD one. Oh, uh, I do. For now you have a shop. matching one. That is awesome. What are the chances? I can't thank see you. you. Thank you. We'll go read my card. Perfect. <laughs> we're getting rolling, everyone. Literally getting rolling. This USA bag is quite nice. And a couple people were asking me who makes it. Uh, actual, like the actual luggage company. It's actually a Nike bag. I don't know what type of bag, but there you go. Okay. So might as well put it to use. Yes. Tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day, but I am now uh, beginning to get more serious with my recovery and everything and strengthening and just taking care of the body. No messing around. Not that I, <laughs> not that I was messing around earlier, but I'm just dialing it in a little bit more, okay? So that is what's going on here. Just working it out here in the kitchen on the floor. Oh, starting with Mr. Footlog. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, stretching is done. Feeling good. Time to start rebuilding the body. As I mentioned earlier, I'm just, I'm to the moon, to the moon to really dial in, really hone into um, stretching, mobility, uh, turnover, a little more speed, less vertical gain in my training, which is a little sad, but I know it's time to, uh, and we're going to talk about this probably tomorrow or the next day, about, but start training like a marathon runner. So, all right, let's see. Well, let me just set these down here. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. There we go, just pull that down. Okay, and again, Paul, you just crushed it with this banner. You just crushed it. And this is, again, this is not the final uh, backdrop for the studio, just temporary as I continue to figure out what we're gonna do in here for spicing it up, decorating. Um, okay, I'm feeling real good, everyone. This is day six of no running, and the legs are feeling good. A little bit of soreness remaining uh, from the World Mountain Running Championships, just a little bit in my quads mostly. Uh, but the break has been good, and here's the deal. Somebody, it may have been, I think his name may have been Lloyd, but he, he's been watching the channel for a while now, I think since last December. And just so everyone knows, usually what I do every single December, uh, right around the Christmas time, is I take, I take two weeks off. Yeah, I, no running, basically no cross training, and that is my major, major reset button. So in order to prepare for the forthcoming elevation, like vertical gain all summer long, in order to prepare for uh, faster speed workouts, in order to prepare for cross training and getting into the gym, for me, I love a mental break and a physical break in a big, big way. Two weeks off, usually every year. Can't do that this year, right? Because uh, Houston is on the horizon. Uh, which means I don't know if I'm going to start running tomorrow or the next day. Basically, as soon as all this soreness is, I think by tomorrow morning, the legs are going to be completely back to normal. So because of Houston uh, and the Olympic trials, I cannot take two weeks off. All right, that's just too much time. But one week has been amazing and going to get donuts today with the family. It's just like that little, I don't know, like I don't even love sugar. I don't know about you guys, but it was almost too intense today eating the donuts. I was, um, I would almost wanted Michael's donut more. It was like a blueberry. Anyway, it's just crazy how our body changes the more, the healthier we eat. And I, I have found the less I crave sugar. Uh, so, but I feel good about this break, about no running, no uh, cross training. I haven't been into the gym. I have been stretching though and foam rolling as you saw earlier. Um, so overall, I'm basically ready to dive back in. Um, again, it'll either be tomorrow or the next day. We'll just see how the legs feel, right? Remember, running by feel. It's all about going by feel for me. And that question of the day, 
And some people don't need this. I personally do need a mental break, but do you even need a mental ba break from your training? Um, and if so, how do you make it happen? How do you kind of check out? For me, it's um, usually not going to the gym. It's usually, you know, being a little relaxed on what I'm eating as far, you know, enjoying a little extra donut time. Uh, but yeah, what do you do for your mental breaks if you even need one? Some people don't need them. Um, I personally do prefer to have one, at least a big one once a year, like around the Christmas time. This year, again, it's just a little different because of the forthcoming attempt to get that Olympic trials qualifying time. Okay, that's it, everyone. Um, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. That was a fun day. And uh, onward and upward. All right, all right. We're going to toss it back to uh, what I eat in a day on the right. Uh, this is a vlog from probably six months ago that I should probably update it pretty soon. Um, that'll be on the right, what I eat in a day. And then on the left, we're going to throw it back to just an old school vlog from 2018, basically one year ago. All right, there you have it. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.